I don't advise you to work with your husband because I made him my manager, and when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired from another job. I also added the fact that he is now homeless and alone to that list, Wendy, because, as it turns out, it may finally be confirmed that Kevin Hunter's mistress, Sharina Hudson, has dumped his Baroque behind. Additionally, I am hearing that Eric's cousin, Kevin and Serena, are no longer dating. And you know what that means. We, there were reports that Sharina was spotted back at her mother's house with her child, which was a big deal considering she had not gone home for years before that. This only means that Karmat is finally serving Kevin his plate, and that it is serving its eyes called she made herself very available to him and was very disrespectful to me. Do you know he had the nerd? He had the nerd. Sharina left her native South Carolina years ago and hasn't visited her family there since, even on holidays. Serena undoubtedly believed she had secured the bag honey, and even when Wendy and Kevin divorced, she believed she was still safe because Wendy was still giving Kevin those checks. Serena's uncle blamed her for playing a significant role in Wendy Williams' toxic divorce, saying, quote, she's a strong girl, she should know right from wrong end, quote, according to Sharina's uncle. If girls want to be equal, it's got to be all across the board girls. Well, guess what Wendy wasn't just supporting? Kevin Wendy was also supporting his mistress and their daughter. I don't know how they're raising the daughter journey, who's almost two years, I think she's two like next month. Or something, thank you, um, that's not my problem, I'm my alimony, for all three of them is on time every month, guys. When I say that Wendy was also supporting Sharina, I mean her money was literally keeping that woman afloat, it was actually Wendy's money that was financing all her failed businesses, like she went to school to be a massage therapist. And she opened a kiosk at a mall in North Carolina. At one point, Sharina also set up a jewelry and clothing line called Vish in addition, she was also a realtor. And she also opened a vegan company after every other thing failed, duh. And according to Wendy, everything was failing. Because Serena is not that sharp anyway. She was one of these, uh, you know, less than smart women who are moved to the big city with bright lights, you know. And she wanted to be a model. And so you know how the girls with the sparkler champagne bottles at the club they get people to spend more money they dress scantily clad and things like that Serena should have known that Wendy was a smart one and was not gonna finance them all their lives because the check send only stopped going through and Kevin even dragged Wendy to court for failing to pay a lemony. the gall that man had the audacity to tell the judge that he had fallen behind on most of his bills and that he lived in a community that required payments to the homeowners association. So she better have my money. I'm sure he said that part two in addition. Kevin said that his car insurance had not been paid as a result of not receiving monthly payments. And he was behind on credit card payments as well on top of that Kevin also said that he didn't have health insurance and that he needed hip surgery, which he couldn't afford without insurance. And as a result of non-treatment, he lived with daily pain. Now how are you going to drain your ex-wife all these years and still have nothing saved? Like what was he even doing with all that money? Anyways, the judge saw through all that BS because he ruled that Kevin's request was not emergent and ordered his application to be dismissed. Without prejudice, you know, Kevin has also demanded that his attorney fees be paid by Wendy. But the judge also denied Kevin's request for attorney fees to be paid by Wendy. The judge actually pointed out that as per their divorce documents, Wendy doesn't have to pay Kevin if she's not working. And she hasn't worked since she took a step back from her show due to her ongoing health issues. Oh, in case you're wondering whether Wendy will be forced to continue paying Kevin, when she starts working, apparently, she specifically said in the divorce papers that she can only pay Kevin if she's doing mainstream TV, which would explain why the plans she's cooking up are for a podcast, this woman is hella smart. And I personally wouldn't be surprised if Wendy planned the entire thing just so she could stop paying Kevin sooner and honestly, the only way to explain this is that karma has finally caught up with Kevin 
After all the embarrassment, he and Sharina have put Wendy through you know. He was tricking up money. She's in the passenger seat of my Rolls Royce Ferrari. And you know I mean really, really. I mean this man literally bought Serena a house just a few miles from where he and Wendy lived with Wendy's money. And I read about it in the blogs and tabloids the address of this place that he had purchased to share with this backwoods nine miles from my house in Livingston. And they're living the high life well that's also gone because Kevin is dead baroque and apparently homeless too. He's already put their house up for sale for $1,299,000. And he also took two loans out on two luxury cars through a company called Flex Wealth. And I know that Sharina walked away because they used to post together a lot with Kevin to promote that vegan stuff and liking each other's pics. But after the judge cut his money, all that posting dried up best believe that Wendy is not sorry that Kevin got dumped. And the source even told Uck Magazine since hearing the news, Wendy has been grinning. Now for something else that surfaced after the breakup. Do you think Kevin is the one who is releasing all of this information so that he may spend more money on Wendy and get back together with her? Based on Kevin Jr., the fact that Wendy is currently barely in charge of anything suggests that his father may have seen an opportunity to re-enter her life and take advantage of her, as other Wendy employees have allegedly done. Since we all know he was once her manager or something similar, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if he made an attempt to do so. Kevin Jr. recently told the son that Wendy's health has been neglected, while those around her profit from the projects she is involved in for legend. He claimed that those around Wendy don't care about her health at all and instead push her to continue making money, which should not be the priority at all. According to Kev Jer, whoever has been hired, they are taking advantage of someone who needs to improve. Kevin Jr. has been through hell this year with everything going on with his mom, and it breaks his heart that things seemed to be going well while she was in rehab. But as soon as she got her freedom, she hasn't reached out to him since okay if Wendy barely has time for her. There were reports that Wendy had not reached out to her son since leaving rehab, apparently while she was in treatment they were talking, but the minute she got out the communication stopped. Hey Wendy, how are you doing? You look great, and I just wanted to say thanks. According to an insider who spoke with the son, Wendy was admitted to the hospital but was later briefly released before returning a day later. This occurred just around the time Wendy canceled her appearance at the Atlanta Women's Expo, though it's possible that she didn't plan it at all. Regardless, Kevin is still not receiving any money, and as a result, he is now homeless and abandoned.